Hi guys, this is Tracy and welcome to Quick Crafts. Okay, so we have six MDF discs here, but they aren't any ordinary discs. These have got little holes in and we are going to create an amazing bauble from this very plain MDF disc. Right, first step, we're going to use one of our fabulous new colours. This is our metallic gilding polish. This colour is petrol blue. So I'm just going to cover this now. It will take a couple of coats, but once it's covered, we'll then carry on. OK, let's get going. So I'm just picking up a little bit of that polish. I'm going to go over to my mat and just blend it a little first and then transfer that over. Now the coverage on this is absolutely superb. As I say, you might need one, you might need two coats, just depends. Okay, so look at that. We're going to do the other side. And we're going to do the edge. Now with it being water-based, it will dry very, very quick. So I'm just going to wait for a minute or two, wait for it to dry and then do another coat. OK, so next layer. Scoop a little up. Pop it onto your blending mat and then take that over the top again. And the other side. Just in case there's any areas that you've not covered. And again, just give it a couple of minutes just to dry. OK, so we have now a very dry disc. And I'm going to pop the lid back on here, not forgetting just to give it a little bit of a spritz with water before popping the lid on. OK, so I'm going to pop this to the side just for one minute. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of our fancy bauble inserts. Now I'm picking the white because I think it will stand out against the navy blue. So there we have them. I'm going to cut one of these out. Now we do have the black ones of these as well. So on the slightly lighter colours, the black one will, will, will stand out really nice on the disc. Now if you've looked here, I've cut off the tag. And I'm just going to work my way around the edge. Now I'm doing this quite quickly, so it might be a little bit rough. But you guys, you can take your time with that. OK, so next step. I'm going to pop that on there. How fab is that? Doesn't that stand out really well? OK, so I'm going to grab a little bit of glue. So I've got my bippity boppity glue here. I'm going to pop it on the back. Running it around the edge. And then all we're going to do is pop that. Line it up with the top here where the hole is to make sure it's nice and straight. And then we're going to let that dry. OK, so once this is dry or nearly dry, I'm just going to pop another one that I cut out earlier on this side. So again, taking the bippity boppity, I'm going to run that over the edge. I'm 
Now the good thing about the glue, it will dry clear. So don't worry if you can see it initially, it will disappear once it's dry. So just press that into place and let that dry now. Okay, so now it's pretty dry. Uh, we're going to add some uh, gilding glue around the edge here. So I've just squeezed a little of the gilding glue out on to my smoothie and I'm just going to go dab it around the edge. Working my way all the way around. So the gilding glue will dry clear. When I say dry, it will dry tacky. And then it's ready for the gilding flakes. So you can put as much or as little as you want. And if you don't want to use gilding flakes, you could always add some just some glitter around the edge or you could use the liquid pearls. Um, you can decorate it however you like, really. OK, so I've done that now. I'm just going to pop a block down and let the edges dry. OK, so that's pretty tacky now. So I am now going to use the metallic gilding flakes. This one's glamour, but you can use any colour you like. And I'm simply going to pick, pick this up. There's no easy way of doing gilding flakes. Be prepared for them to go absolutely everywhere. <laughs> but then that's OK, because we love the effect. So I'm just smoothing that around the edge now. And the other side, make sure we've covered that as well. Okay, so one thing left, we just want to put a nice little thread on there. So I've got some of, of our uh, Christmassy sort of tinsely, glittery thread here. And I'm just going to thread that through the hole at the top. So now you might need a little bit of a needle to push through. Okay, so once I've popped that through, that's absolutely ready to hang. So we've got our lovely little bauble that you could hang anywhere really, not just your tree. I've made some other ones as well that I wanted to show you. Just using some of the different colours um, of some of the gilding polishes. And I think they look fabulous. I've done one here. Not quite finished this one. This is a really nice glitter one. I've got this one here and I've used the liquid pearls around the edge. And as you can see, I've used the black one. These are eight centimeter, by the way, these inserts for the baubles and that will fit absolutely perfectly. I hope you can see that lovely, lovely luster. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. Something a little bit different and a little bit Christmassy. You take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.